Studio Team Birdie Carousel, everybody. <laughs> okay, so wow. where can you go to meet animals with names like Mrs. Bear? Uh, I think there were some other really cool ones. Scroll up just a little bit for us here, Scotty. Oh, Big Mike. Ruby, Harry, Big Mike. Big Mike. Uh, and none of them, by the way, are monkeys or primates. This cast of characters represents only a few of the many animals that inhabit the Suncoast Primate Sanctuary in Palm Harbor. We have come to find out that these animals are not all primates or monkeys. In fact, we have four non-primate visitors with us today. Uh, we have two humans. We have <laughs> Kelly, Kelly and Tyler. We actually have five now. We have a Burmese python, a military macaw, and, and a surprise a, alligator. And this is a gator. Wait, you, you, wait, you're using scotch tape to keep his mouth shut? <laughs> scotch tape? Really? We don't have duct tape? No, you, don't wanna, you never want to touch the, the head end of an alligator. You really don't ever want to touch an alligator, let's well, be honest. Well, how do you get the tape on if you don't touch the head? Well, we're trained professionals, so <laughs> we're very used to this. Okay. It's just a precaution that we take, but you said it. Isn't it surprising that you can go to the Suncoast Primate Sanctuary and see more than just primates? Sure, I had absolutely no idea, but the, your residents are very, uh, a wide variety. I mean, there's this guy over here, Watch clearly eating. I know, I need to not get that so <laughs> yeah, close. Oh, and, and the alligator, and as, as mentioned before, we are going to introduce you to a Burmese python in just a few minutes, but where do these animals come from, Well, Kelly? that's a really great question. The sanctuary is just that. It's a sanctuary, so they turn no animal down. These animals, most of them were prior pets, you, uh, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. Somebody would like to have an alligator as a pet. It's against the law. A macaw is a very tough animal to take care of. It can mm -hmm. live 60 years, and they actually have the mentality of a three-year-old. So if <laughs> if either oh, of you uh, try try raising a three-year-old for 60 years, it's my very difficult. They're, they're a pretty high-maintenance animal, too, aren't they? They are. If they don't get enough attention, they'll start squawking and screaming and chewing and tearing. Right. Um, this is Santana. It's a military macaw. They come from South America and Mexico, and they're really wonderful wonderful animals and thankfully there's places like the sanctuary that will take these animals and care for them now for why, the rest of their lives. Why is he called a military macaw? Based on that green coloration. Oh it is? Okay. Yeah it is and they're really wonderful animals along with alligators. The alligator, the American alligator is a, <laughs> don't want to get it don't too good. Don't use alligator <laughs> as a pointer. It's not a pointer. <laughs> they are a huge success story of the Endangered Species Act. They were once endangered and now there are over one million in the state of Florida alone. Now how will the, uh, the macaw and the gator get along with the 16 foot Burmese python. Go ahead and bring uh, we're gonna move, we're Big gonna, Mike on in. We're gonna hand yeah. off some of these okay. animals and we're Our gonna bring producer in. Mark is not afraid. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Whoa. tiny alligator. Here we are. Oh. We're gonna bring in the python. Oh, we're gonna oh, the parrot back. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Don't be really cool. Now, who brought this to the sanctuary? Mm -hmm. this, this is actually a personal oh, pet. God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look at Matt. Oh, my outfit. God, I can feel it moving. <laughs> are you, are you yeah. afraid of snakes? No, I'm not You're afraid. Doing I'm a terrified of snakes. Oh, you're doing a great job. Oh, man. Tyler, so, who is this guy? This is Sunshine. She's a Burmese python that was, at, that was donated to the sanctuary due to FWC regulations now. You actually have to have a license to own these as pets. And how many people has the lovely snake killed? <laughs> Just in oh, round no. numbers. Oh, and just round numbers. <laughs> no, she has a great home at the sanctuary. What does she weigh? Boy, she's this is a heavy yeah, animal. She's about 175 pounds. Oh, what wow. What does she so. eat? She could eat uh, store-bought chicken, stuff like that. We don't feed any live food at the sanctuary, anything mm -hmm. that's uh, store-bought. Anything so. she wants to eat, that's the answer to that question. Jerome, is your hand shaking? Yeah, no, no, I'm perfectly yeah. fine. This is like holding a, uh, a, a, a big candle that's, just, that's viscous. Just do the telling didn't touch. <laughs> well, here's, here's the thing about Burmese pythons. People actually purchase these animals as pets when they're about a foot long. Uh -huh. Right. This snake is only seven years old. Can you imagine a snake like this large in your home? Oh. No, no I can't and I don't want to. So unfortunately what people do is that they're misinformed. They think that they are letting the snake right. free. They release it and these snakes are actually inhabiting the Everglades. They don't belong there and they're competing with our native predators. So it's really unfortunate for wildlife and that's one thing that the sanctuary does is they educate people about these animals and the fact that they don't make good pets. When's the last time the snake has eaten? Uh, they <laughs> I don't know for sure, but they don't eat very often. They're cold-blooded, so yeah. some snakes can go a full year if they take a big meal like a hog. <laughs> um, but this snake probably eats once a month. That would be my guess. So, But they can literally go whole hog if they need to. <laughs> right? Wow. They can. Now, this snake is an albino snake. You see that unique coloration. It is a Burmese python. This snake would not last very long in the wild. Can you guess why? No, why? She's really stands out. Mm -hmm. She stands out. She doesn't have that natural coloration. So albino species, they exist mostly in captive <laughs> environments. So this certainly was a pet. Is she hissing? 
Well, look at the head. She was just moving. No, I, th I, I heard some hissing. By the, I don't by the think way, she smells you. Oh. I know the Primate Sanctuary needs funding to be able to operate, and there's a great fundraiser coming up that we want to tell everybody about. Uh, that's coming up, what is it? I think it's the beginning of June. Well, you guys are doing a poker yeah. run, right? A poker yeah, run. Tell us about that. From, uh, the event's going to start at 10 a.m. It's go all the way till 10 p.m. So it's going to be a long day where we have a charity poker run where riders will go around to different pit stops. And then um, we have family fun day at the same time from 10 to 5. We'll have bounce houses, food, games, music, and a bunch of stuff going on. Is it uh, BYOP? <laughs> Bring your own python? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Okay. Guys, one cool thing about the sanctuary <laughs> is that it's actually 100% run by private donations and volunteers. They're always looking for donors and volunteers, and the sanctuary really does a nice job of rescuing animals. Well, Kelly and Tyler, thank you very much <laughs> yeah. for being here. And, uh, you know, just you, and come, come back in a I'm year or so. I'm proud of you, Jerome. <laughs> I'm proud of you, too. Oh, well done. Oh, God. Hey, we're going to make... Uh, gorilla, sorry Snake, our uh, <laughs> win stuff word today. Go to our website, sign up, earn some points, and start winning. It's that easy, everybody. Studio10.tv is that website, and you can click on the win stuff link at the bottom of the homepage, type in today's win stuff word, which is gorilla, and you'll earn points you can use to win great prizes. Studio10.tv for your chance to win. Up next, it's time to blow up some more stuff. Holly Green is going to join us, and we're going to have some fun with science. Stay tuned, everybody.